Hi, so in this video we're going to talk about composition and a formula. We're going to continue from the last face-to-face -face meeting that we've had. Today we're going to talk about the percent composition. So what is percent composition? It says here that if the formula of the compound is known, condition yan ha, if it is known, its chemical composition can be expressed as the mass percent of each element in the compound. Mass percent is the same as percent composition by mass or simply percent composition. Now we're being given the formula for the percent composition of an element in a specific compound that is N, N times the molar mass of the element all over the molar mass of the compound where n is the number of moles of element in one mole of the compound. Kailangan natin i-remember yung mga molar mass natin dito. Because number of moles, diba, in one particular compound, ilang, ilang moles yung isang atom. For example, let's do this um, example right here. Calculate the percent composition of percent composition by mass of oxygen and calcium nitrate. We're given the chemical formula of calcium nitrate as CaNO3. Yung gagawin natin, follow the formula, we're being asked for the percent composition of oxygen. So what we're going to do will be 16 oh, N. So, ilang oxygen yung nasa CaNO3. In one mole of CaNO3, meron tayong tatlo. So, since tuluman ang ato ang oxygen, that's gonna be 3 times 16.00 grams per mole all over the molar mass of the compound. That means, kailangan pa nato kaon ang molar mass sa atong compound. So, the molar mass, putan na ko sa taas, molar mass of CaNO3 is equal to 40.08. Oh, let me double check if 40.08 siya. Yeah. It's 40.08 grams per mole plus 14.01 grams per mole plus 3 times 16.00 grams per mole. So that is a total of, give me one moment, a total of 102.09 grams per mole. Since pareho man sila grams per mole, we can just crush that out, multiply by 100, missing sa ating formula, multiply by 100, that will give you 16 times 3 divided by 102.09 times 100, so that will give you 47.017, so magiging 02 na lang percent of oxygen. In this solution na nakikita natin dito, we have a few errors. First, for this part right here, this is not the molar, uh, the molar mass of oxygen. This is the molar mass of nitrogen. So, dapat 16 ni siya dere. Diba? The oxygen man ang ginapangita. There you go. Okay. So let's proceed with empirical formula. Ang inong dere, empirical formula is the simplest formula, bali naka lowest term, for any compound. Smallest whole number ratio of atoms present. On the other hand, molecular compounds, the molecular formula indicates the actual I didn't know maklaro. <laughs> so it indicates the actual number of atoms 
present in a molecule of a compound. For example, we have uh, glucose, C6H12O6. The empirical formula will be CH2O. We divide na ko sa nan subscript by 6 para makuha na to ang lowest term. For another example, we have H2O. Ang H2O, dili naman na siya lowest term kay this is 1 right here. Mo naman ang smallest na value. 1 divided by 1 is still 1. 2 divided by 1 is still 1. So, H2O already happens here. Ang O3, empirical formula niya is O lang. And then, if you have, for example, C11 H22O12, as you can see here, divisible ang 22 by 11. So, dili divisible ang 22 by 12. Dili po divisible ang 12 by 11. So, ang ato empirical formula kay maoragi hapon, pareho sa molecular formula. Kumuna sa taas, ito molecular formula, empirical formula din sa baba. Okay? So, let's do an example. We will follow all these steps doing this example right here. So, let me just insert a page. Okay. So, the question goes like this. Let's copy the question. So, mass dye, 5.325 grams sample. Yatagan taog masses sa component elements. So, step 1, determine the mass of each component element. Yatag naman sa ato. So, check na siya. We're already done with that. Now, mong good usahay, ang ginahatag is in percent composition. So, ang mahitabo, kunwari, gihatagan sa 91.76% carbon, tapos, wala gihatag kan siya, wala gihatag ang mass sa imuhang, uh, uh, sa imuhang sample. Pwede rin mo ibutang sa imuhang papel. Assume 100 grams sample. Assume lang. And then, kailangan na agad ni mong assumptions sa inyong papel. Otherwise, your answer will be invalidated. Dili siya valid. So, wala mo ko kabalo pila ka, uh, pila ka grams sa imuhang di kan, di assume. So, dili ko ninyo ipa-assume na nag-assume mo nga 100 grams sa inyong assume. Okay. If 100 grams, Kaning percentage, dali ra kayo nato siya i-convert into actual mass. That's 91.76 grams carbon na dayon. Pero since ang gihatag sa ato is already in grams, already in terms of mass, diretso una nato siya. So pwede, uh, diretso una tao sa second step. The second step, convert each mass to mole and write a preliminary formula. So, ang saan galit to? If magmas ka paingon to amount of substance or mole, ang imong gamiton, imuhang conversion factor diri should be grams per mole. Okay, so let's do that for carbon. So, ang higit na ito is mole carbon given as 3.758 grams of carbon. Molar mass sa carbon is 12.01 grams per 1 mole of carbon. 
to crush out. That will give you 3.758 divided by 12.01. So that is 0 0.3129. Now it's very important that dili sa tamo ground off no dito rata sa last nga value mag ground off. Now pwede ni ing ani un o format pagkasulat kailang tanan. However, para para sa ako, para mas limpio. Na kung ginabuhat is gina tabulate na ko siya. Ginahin mo na ko siyang table. So, first is mass in terms of grams. A carbon, gihatag naman sa ato, 3.758. Tapos, di ba ingon siya i-convert daw into moles? Ginabuhat pa din ako para ma-visualize na ako ang say mga steps. Sabaw na kay first time or first few times pa na ako mag-solve. So, to convert that into moles, 3.758. Ako lang i-rewrite at nangisulat ganyan. Grams times 12.01 grams per 1 mole of carbon. Crush out, crush out equals 0.3129. Then, it means you have create a preliminary formula. So, nang, ang atong buhaton is we just use kung sino result sa mole as the subscript. And then, we do the same for hydrogen. We do the same for oxygen. Once makuha na nato ng diri sa uh, preliminary formula, preliminary formula, ibutan nato diri is 0 0.5 or 0 0.5. Four. Then, dito din ta, sa step 3, convert the amounts, moles, mathematically to whole number. Importante pa siyang apart, whole number. Integer subscript. Integer meaning positive digits. Okay? Whole num positive or negative actually, but whole number subscripts. Wala man tayo negative na subscripts sa ato mga chemical formula. So, positive will give. Divide each subscript by the smallest subscript. And if dili gihapon sa whole number, multiply through by the smallest integer that turns all subscripts into integer. So for example, na kay 1.5. Kay 1.5. 1.5 ang result sa dinga step. Siyempre, it times 2 ni muna. Ah, later na lang. Divide that to by the smallest, I'm saying on the smallest subscript. So, the smallest subscript in this example is 0.3. So, we'll divide by 0 0.329, divide by 0 0.3129, so on and so forth. So, this will be 1, this will be about 1.5, this will be about 1.2. Not sure. The both, the both, both now. now, for this example, dili man siya whole number gihapon. So, atong buhaton, di ba, multiply through by the smallest possible integer nga ma whole number siya. So, ang 1.2 times na 5, we will get times na 5 para ma whole number ang 1.2. will get 6. However, ang 1.5 times na 5, 7.5 man ang gawas. So, is there a way na i-multiply imul natin sa integer na ma whole number sila tanan? So, we could multiply all these values by 9. So, ang 9 um, Siyempre, 1 times 9, mayroon siya 9. Um, H, 1.5 times 9, 13.5. Tapos kung kani, may mo din siyang 10.2. Although, dili mo hindi na siya nakita buo, kasi kami kikibuot-buot rin ang mga values. 
So at at one point makita ra mo og value diri nga ma whole number ni siya lower 12 ra mo ng 10 as long as whole numbers. Kay diri nga example kani siya diri nga example. Nag-stop ra man siya diretso sa division by the smallest number kay ni exacto man nga around 3.99 ang mga values. So, pag 3.99 or 0.99, 2.99, tadara ni nyo ipang round up. Bitan pag 2.96. Tadara ni nyo ipang round up. Pero kung dili na kaya ang round up, more than ito kung ingon, labo na 0.5, i-multiply tanan, dapat tanan ha, by the smallest possible integer na makahimo sa tanan, subscripts into whole numbers. Now that we have our empirical formula, this is a molecular formula. If we know the molar mass of a compound, we can use the empirical formula to obtain the molecular formula. Remember that the molecular formula is the actual number of atoms per element in the compound. So we have mesetilene. A hydrocarbon found in crude oil has an empirical formula of C3H4. And an experimentally determined molecular weight of 1 to 1 AMU. Dito pang na unsa ang molecular formula. Now, we have a couple of steps that we need to do. First off, we would need the empirical formula weight. Ano to ang formula weight? Anang C3H4, that's 3 times 12.01 AMU plus 4 times 1.008 AMU, 12.01.3. This will give you 40.0062 AMU. The next step, is to determine our whole number multiplier. Ahan nato siya makuha. Makuha nato ni siya kung i-divide nato ang given na molecular weight 1 to 1 AMU sa atong na-calculate na EFW so 40.062 AMU. Of course, mag-crush out mo ng AMU. So, imuang whole number multiplier walay unit. So that's 1 to 1 divided by 40.062. Ang answer is 3.02, which we could just round down to 3.00. Whole number multiplier siya, ang multiplier ng part, tungod na siya, kay ato siyang i-multiply sa subscript. So 3 math na ko, dire, so times 3 tanan, subscript sa tanan element sa tibuok compound. So, mahimo na din atong compound as C9H12. Okay? Ayan, meron siya ang answer. So, meron na siya ang steps para makuha na to ang empirical form, ang molecular formula from empirical formula. Ang kailangan lang is experimentally determined molecular weight, which is most usually given na mga ginagawa. Okay? So, let's stop the video here para dilikita as. I'll see you in the next video.